last summer. I saw. <laughs> Y'all see, dog? What's up? Who is this? What? You tripping? Okay. Oh, I'm hanging up now. Wait, 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 wait. It's Brian. Holy cow. Dude, it's been forever. Yeah, man, I know. Yeah, what have you been up to? You know, I just got my own place. Me and Dave, you know, just living the good life. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really nice to hear from you. Wait, did you call me Sea Dog? Hey, listen, uh, we should get together this weekend. Who? Um, you, me, Linda, Karen, and Edward, just like the good old days. Oh, oh man, I can't really miss work right now. Uh, take a sick day, man. Brian, it's not like I don't want to, man. I'm just really, really busy right now. All right, I'll tell you what. Call everybody else, talk to them, and let me know what they say. They said, yeah. You're the last on the call, see, dog? Well, what were you hoping to do? Last time we were all together was graduation. No way, that can't be true, bro. Yeah, I really think so. Uh, wrong. Uh, pretty sure Brian's right. Uh, <laughs> wait, I uh, <laughs> seem to remember a very long, boring baseball game. I think uh, summer of 2009. Oh, yeah. Still don't like baseball, huh? Put it that way, no. Mm. It's just so awesome. Dull. Actually, get repetitive. I can say that, bro. You're hurting me. <sighs> Sorry, brother. Sometimes the truth hurts. You guys are too funny. Hey, you weren't funny? What, what does a nosy pepper do? Hmm. Get all up in your business. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually impressed. It's actually my parents, bro. We used to come here a lot when we were growing up, but once they got divorced, that stuff. So I gave my mom a call to see if she still had it. She said she did a vacation rental. Right so I was like, sweet, maybe we can use it for the weekend. You know, mom never listened down. <laughs> So, uh, can one of you guys get my bag for me because it's a little heavy? I'll be honest. Yeah, you gotta hand it over. I got, I got it. Okay, guy. <laughs> All right. Boys will be boys. More like Brian will be Brian. <laughs> True. That's that's what I should have said. So, have you been, Charles? It's been ages. Oh, it's good to see you. You too. Well, you know how you're supposed to work to live? I live to work. I took an internship at the hospital about six months ago. All that schooling's finally paying off. Now I'm just waiting for a job offer. What about you? What do you do? I sell real estate. 
I'm actually doing pretty well for myself. I ended up where I've always wanted to be. I'm sure you'll get there soon, Charles. Maybe someday. Yo, did you guys see the keychain I had earlier? <sighs> what? You didn't forget the keys, did you, Brian? No, I, I just misplaced them. I'm just having a look for them, man. You would. Um, are you sure you didn't leave them on your counter at home? Yo, I'll put this bag down. Don't make sense. And then I'll pick it up so Karen doesn't have to. No, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I found them. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brian needs a minute. There's one bedroom upstairs, one right there, and there's two in the back. If you guys want, we could put our bags up and meet back in the living room. That work? Yeah. Yo, Eric, can you come here real quick, bro? Yeah. Hey, can you get this bag for me? I think Karen put rocks in here just to mess with me, but it's killing my shoulder, please. All right, man, I got you. Yeah, thank you. Yo, Karen, uh, Eric got your bag. You know, a long car ride. You need to go use the restroom. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. I carried it pretty far. Yeah, you can just set it down on the bed. I, I can unpack myself. Sure, I mean, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, I know, really, the whole you guys carrying my bags up here and stuff, it was, it was just, uh, just kind of a joke. <laughs> right. But it was really sweet of you, and of um, Brian, too. <laughs> you know, Brian's always had a crush on you, you know, so it was no surprise there. Right. So, uh, so, Edward, how have you, how have you been? How's your mom doing? Small talk. Really? I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay. My mom, she, uh, she just moved, so I don't, I don't see her much, but we still talk. That's nice. Yeah, so, uh, how have you been? Great. Great. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. This is, a, this is really hard, yeah. it's, but uh, promise me after all this is over with, we keep in touch because um, I really do miss you. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go so you can, can unpack. Right, uh, well thanks for bringing my bags up here. It's nice to know that you're still such a nice guy after all this time. And um, you know, I'm happy to be here with you and everyone else. You look great, by the way. Thank you. Good evening. It sure is different out here than it is in the city, don't you think? Yes. It's pretty, though. You know, I've never even gone camping. My family wasn't outdoorsy. Really? Everybody's got to go camping at least once. It's just really nice to get away from it all. Life in the city can move so fast. You just need that time to slow down and recharge. I think that's why my parents really like camping. Even though it's not the same thing, it feels the same. I see what you mean. You've just been so focused on you. 24 hours just isn't enough in a day. Exactly. Time doesn't stop. You, you don't think that there could be bears out here, do you? Stuff like that has always scared me about the wilderness. I don't even know what I would do if I saw one. Stay very still. And it will leave you alone? Maybe. Or just hope you can outrun it back to the cabin. But you'll have to be really fast. Charles! Alright, well, I'm gonna head off to bed. See you in the morning. Night.
Good night. Never seen snow before. <laughs> snow. Oh. Morning. So, uh, Mr. Weekend Vacation. What's your plans for today? Maybe get some breakfast. Go on a hike? Make out of it? <laughs> okay, yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah, really. <laughs> a hike. Perfect day for a hike. Somebody should Google some hiking trails nearby. <laughs> Why don't you have your phones in your hand? It's a team effort, man. I came up <laughs> with the idea, someone needs to execute. You're lazy, bro. <laughs> What about Silver Woods? I googled. Um, hold on. Let's see. It's close by. There's some pictures here. Mm. Looks nice. I bet you there's a lot of trees, huh? <laughs> here. Well, okay, well, let's grab our bags and go. Lead the way. All right, so we got water. I think we're good. Yeah, should be good. How many water did you bring, Brian? One for me. I have to get my boob. Y'all might want to stay out of them woods. I can point you in the direction of another trail. Why? What's wrong? Well, nothing. Just... Folks around here like to keep an eye out for tourists. Several woods ain't exactly what you might expect. On it. Knew it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't say that. It's just dangerous. Where y'all from? We're just visiting for the weekend. I see. Well, my name's Walker. I'm the park ranger out here. Y'all might see me driving around. My name's Edward. These are my friends here. It's a pleasure. Y'all been hiking before? Looks like you might want to say something. Well, it's not safe. How are people supposed to know? It's not blocked off. Charles, just drop it. I'm just saying. You can't just go blocking off 90 acres, young man. These are my woods. It's just me up here. Well, can you provide us with a map and information on another trail close by? You know what? Sure thing. Let me get one on my truck. Now, didn't mean to frighten y'all. It's just better if you stay out. It's better for me, it's better for you. I just want to make that clear. Now, Ore Creek is up that way. It's a pretty easy hike, but it's got some spectacular views. Shoot, on a day like today, y'all might even see some deer by the river. It's perfect for groups such as yourselves. Now, I hope y'all have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, you set up for this way, right?
hospitable earlier, what happened? Oh, what do you mean, huh? What do you mean? Somebody needs a little. There we go again. Always. Warmth. Clearly. She's a beauty. Oh, girl. Oh, is that what it is? I'm a sissy now? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm a sissy that keeps the ladies warm. Guys, we came on this trip to have a good time. He's literally already having a good time because you're complaining about everything. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Maybe you should figure that one out. Maybe I should. I'm sorry you're not in your cubicle at work. I'm sure there'd be a better scenery over there. God's country Actually, area. this is my idea. But. It was your idea. What well, was your idea? Yeah, I'm not the really one fighting. Matter, you guys. Really? You're gonna lie like you <laughs> lie like that? Okay. <laughs> Whose idea was it to go on a hike? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Everything's so your idea. Why don't you come cute stuff on your phone? See, who's yeah, who's miserable? You, need a jacket. you know what? Oh, he isn't going the right way. Yeah, you should check that one out. You need to. Get your inspector gadget gadgets. Yeah. For someone who works at an office, like that, you're pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, it's called no service out in the mountains, wise guy. You know, I miss this about high school, just being mean to each other. Yeah, uh huh. Ed, let's just go this direction. Let's like, just go no, this direction. He like, he knows everything. Let's go this direction. <laughs> yeah. Edward's always talking over people. Wait, why yeah. should I listen to you? You just said you didn't have no service. That makes no. You know what, I'm not trusting the nerd over here. Well, then, with his calculus. You're always calling people take the direction back you that way, buddy. You probably don't need to talk. Because every time you say something, just bad stuff oh, comes Oh, yeah, because we're, we're out here don't know where we're at. I don't like what comes out of your mouth. Exactly. It's what? like word vomit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know I love you, though. Right? <laughs> of course. All the time, bro. Who's the one that helped you pass high school? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you did take care of me, though. Yeah, I did. I, I, I prevented you from getting beat up. Hey, thanks for leaving the ladies behind so we can get eaten by bears. Actually, we're so sorry. I need to take care of the ladies. We're making sure, yeah. We're making sure, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 here. Hey, guys, my GPS says this direction. Your GPS says this direction. So we need to follow. Let's follow. Let's follow him. His GPS knows the way. I always have to follow the guy. Like they even know it. I know they had no sense of direction. That's why we're lost in the first place. No, it says down here. Says the girl didn't bring a jacket. Says the guy who didn't bring a jacket. I just don't want Walker, Ranger Man, whatever. Okay, what happened to you trying to make out here earlier? We'll take care of that later. She got you on that one, brother. Hey, should we gather some firewood on the way back? That's probably a good idea. There's some dry wood right over here, actually. Some dry wood here. I have no memory of that. You do have memory of that. What are y'all talking about? Like, what? what we're talking know. about meaningful things, and you're just running your mouths about stuff. Yeah, you guys are, don't even oh. know where you're walking. Why? Yeah, are, we what, you don't even. You haven't even seen anything right the whole time. And all of a sudden, you have an opinion. How would you even hear? You because hey, you're so small. I'm, just, I'm looking at you, and I can't see where she's. So she's talking. Oh, that's where she mean. at? I'm you sorry. have to be the center of attention. Oh, 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 is that what it is? I'm yeah. sorry. I should give you some shine. Hey, does my makeup look okay? It's perfect. It looks beautiful. Fantastic. Perfect, dude. He's such a sucker. He oh, called me babe one more time. We're gonna fight, dude. <laughs> so, where'd you want to go eat? I don't know. I think there's a McDonald's or a, a Chinese restaurant close by. Chinese sounds good. Yeah, I guess we'll be really Chinese. I wonder what they're bringing back for dinner. I wonder if they're bringing back some queso. Queso. Mm-hmm. Remember those football parties? Super Bowl parties we used to have. Mm-hmm. You know, we had the guacamole, and then we had the chips, and then the... Um... Salsa. Man, that salsa. Something about me and spicy food. Do you remember that Thai restaurant open? Mm. And you had to try it. You're on some spicy food kick. Hey. Yeah. And so uh, you wound up getting food poisoning that night. Oh, man. That was the last time I ever, ever had Thai food, man. Oh, I knew it tasted funny. He called me to say take good notes. Which he didn't. <laughs> we had a test in chemistry that Thursday. And uh, <laughs> this guy ended up, <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted us to be prepared. But he put the phone down so he can go puke. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, that's gross. Bring that up. That's really gross. Bring that up. And, uh, he tried to put it on hold, but it was so close, I heard everything. You know, we didn't hear from him for three days after that. Man, I honestly, I think I lost, what, 12 pounds that week? Man. But, you know, the good news is, is I, I was able to go back to the school. Mm-hmm. They let me retake that quiz, and I scored an 83%. Uh, so, uh, what didn't you like in school? Mm. What do you think, man? Art. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I cannot draw worth a damn. No, I'm just being honest. That is fact. You know, I've seen you draw, and uh, not everybody can be an artist, man. Huh? Oh, okay. All right. Is it really? Uh, what do you want me to draw? Yeah. Bird? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's not that bad, man. Mm-hmm. Look at that. There's the legs. And we got the wings. Look at that. Looks like a bird, right? Mm. Mm. No? That's some really deep stuff, man. <laughs> Come on, let's go, bro. Oh, it really is a nice night after all for a walk. I know, right? Yeah. Whatever happened to that one girl you were dating senior year? Um, Stephanie. Oh, gosh. You mean Molly? Yeah, yeah, Mary. Uh, Molly. Yeah, that's what I said, Molly. She broke up with me a few years back. Bro, she was hot. Yes, thank you. This is exactly what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, but let's be honest, she was smoking. <laughs> what? <laughs> we talk about anything else? You know, I mean, strolling down memory lane of my failed romance requires booze. <laughs> you just say booze? Yes. Uh, I miss you. Miss us. Miss our group. Sometimes it's it's hard to find friends that you can just be yourself around. I agree. I mean, man, I'm too busy to make friends. This is my first weekend off in over a year. Damn. For real? Yeah. Staying busy, man. Hey, check it out. You know, I'm curious as to why the ranger told us to stay out. It doesn't look dangerous. It's not compared to any other woods. I'm telling you, dog, it must be haunted or something. I don't really believe in ghosts, do you, Brian? Hey, quiet, man. They can hear you. Only a fool doesn't believe. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a fool. I'm a fool! Oh, oh geez. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, didn't mean to start on you. Uh, name's wow. William. I live uh, down the trail, way back. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, we're good. I'm Charles. That's my buddy Brian. We're staying in a cabin in that direction for the weekend. You didn't happen to hear us screaming, did you? I may have, but um, I don't want to let all that go if you uh, two join me for a late night dinner. I I uh, just don't get too much company out this way. I don't see why. In the profession I do. Let me start over. I'm a writer, and um, I just come out here for the isolation. It's something about this, this winter nights that makes you one with nature. It's kind of perfect. No offense, man, but we don't really know you. I mean, I, I get it. I mean, but I don't buy. You could be a ghost. You probably should be with your man. You know what, man? All right. Yes? Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. All right, great. Uh, just follow me. Just go down the path. Yo, this is honestly so much better than I expected. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm glad you like it. But honestly, being isolated, I kind of get time to try new things. <laughs> yeah, I get that. 
So, uh, when did you move out here? Mm, about two years ago. You know, after writing my, uh, my novel, it's hard to find inspiration. So, I had to find new ways. And coming here, I honestly think I found it. You know, you gotta admit, it's just something about this place, right? That's cool. What kind of books have you read? Probably not that you guys ever heard of. Uh, last book only sold about 10,000 copies. But you know, I like it. It's just a place for me. I like that whole sci-fi type of space feel. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. You know, you don't mind me asking or changing the subject, actually. Um, what can you tell us about Silver Woods? I've seen him go in there. Just, just curious. You've been out here for a while. Not much. Um, you know, I haven't heard of us. nothing I can particularly say. It was something you want to know about. Is it haunted? No, I don't really think that. We're just wondering if anything ever happened in there. I mean, no one ever goes in there. When I first got in town, I was kind of secluded. Didn't have too many friends. So, uh, I mean, the town is only about around 200 people anyway. Yeah. So they kind of keep to themselves. But I had to try new things. And, you know, watching cooking channels was it. <laughs> All right. I guess. Ranger Walker might tell some of those stories to kind of keep people safe. <clears throat> so, I'm assuming they tell that to everybody? Keep out. Yeah. But, like I say, there's just something to keep them out of the woods. Make sure they come back home. You know, I've heard some crazy stories back in the past. Like what? Um, if I can just pull one up. Uh, it's a great story about uh, cannibals who live deep in the woods. <laughs> that was eating people. Another one was about uh, a bear who uh, grabbed a little girl and you know, drove her back. But, you know, I just think it's <sighs> hikers getting lost or something like that, not knowing their way around. But, I don't know, the stories get crazier and crazier as people decide not to listen. But. All right, I mean, I just find it really odd, man. I mean, especially if nothing ever happened in there. Well, you know, um, Small towns have their secrets, and they like to keep it that way. Well, I'm stuffed, man. Oh, it's delicious, enjoy. absolutely. Yeah. But um, it's getting late. We should be heading back. I mean, you saw the weather out there. Yeah. <laughs> Get lost in these parts. Thank you guys for keeping me company. Absolutely. Likewise, bro. Keep it real. For real. Okay. Now let me walk you guys out. Thank Don't you, Jacob. Be safe. You too. You too, man. Great. Sleeping. Let's go. Get up. I think we can go check out the woods before everyone else wakes up. You lie to your friends. I don't even know you anymore, bro. Ryan, it's not lying. What's the worst that can happen, bro? Come on, I want to get a better look at it, don't you? Bro, I already told you those woods are haunted. Let's bro. go. Get up. Let's go. <sighs> Shut you up. Let's go. Let's go.
you going to say? Okay, I will. Karen, have you seen Brian and Charles? I know they went for a walk last night, but I was I fell asleep before they got back. Going mad if they got breakfast without us. I mean it's okay to wake me up if food's involved. Mm -hmm. And where the heck have the two of you been? Breakfast. Why don't you wake me up? Hello? Sorry. It's okay to wake me up, man. Hey, Edward, it's okay. Um, we can just go to town and get something to eat. I'll go and get Linda. We have to go. Bye. That was weird. You know, that's Brian Charles that you're talking about. Brian was the guy who snorted Kool-Aid, and Charles is the guy who can turn Kool-Aid into rocket fuel if he wanted to. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that they're, they're weird. Like, you have weird friends. Wait, Brian snorted Kool-Aid? Yeah. Yeah, it was junior year. I, I paid him five dollars to do it. Okay. We have to convince him. We have to hurry. Do you have any ideas? We can trick them. Make up a story to get them in there. All we need to do is have them take a couple steps in there and they'll see exactly what's going on in Silverwoods. What if it doesn't work? What if they don't fall for the trick? We just have to be really convincing, okay? That's all we have to do. All right, we'll just keep to ourselves until nightfall. We'll go in if we tell them the truth right away. Okay. All right. We'll just keep to ourselves. All right. Until right fall. Yeah. Kind of running out of time. Hoping uh, we'd all go out for dinner tonight. You know, it's our last night. I figured we'd do something big. Maybe we could dress up. Did you bring a dress? You know, you don't think what I'm wearing is nice enough? No, you look great. You know, I, I just, um, yeah, I just didn't know if you, uh, do something fancy, like you got a dress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, d I definitely, I think I have something to wear. So, uh, did you bring a tux? Yeah, Brian made me. Uh, so this was Brian's idea? No, I, I can wear the tux if you want me to. Do you want me to wear the tux? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I don't like to see you in a tux. <laughs> I, uh, I like a man that likes to look good for his woman. Okay. Go get it. Oh, Edward. Wait a second. Um, do you remember seeing your prom? Hmm. I, um, yeah, I remember. I only got one dance with you. And then you, uh, then you ditched me before I went to hang out with you. Tony, or whatever his name was. You know, I know that an apology after all this time probably doesn't mean much, but I really am sorry. I feel like that was the moment we stopped being best friends. And believe me, the truth is 
tell you earlier, it was a huge mistake. It's all right. I know how much you liked him. Boy, let me get to you. Left hand? Right here? Of course. You two have been acting pretty strange. Where did you disappear to all afternoon? Mm, careful, people are gonna think that you're causing trouble. Something like that. You ever know something you're not supposed to and you wanna tell someone? Well, we went to the woods and we found something, Arthur and I. Um, who? Me and this guy. Brian. Who is this Arthur? Forget the fact that I forgot his name, okay? It's been a long day. But it don't matter. You're not gonna believe this. Won't believe what? We met someone in town who told us the truth behind the Silver Woods. Arthur? Yes. The reason they don't want us going in there is because there's treasure buried. You guys need to get more sleep. No more late night walks. The 1960s, a plane crashed. The pilot was never found. Neither was $5 million worth of gold. That's why the ranger and others keep people out so they can find the treasure themselves. And you believe this story? You seen what we found? You would too. Come with us. See for yourself. With your friends. I trust you guys. I'm just, I'm just worried about you. There's no need. It's just right off the side of the road. That's why we think nobody's found it yet. All right, I'll go. Follow us. Oh. Oh, we're going now? Now. What am I even looking for? I don't even see anything. You see that funny looking tree over there? Right to the side of it, there's a bunch of debris scattered everywhere. Which means an airplane did crash stories are true. And there can be treasure. So let's go. Are you guys coming? Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Just want to see your face when you get closer. Excuse me. Huh? Hey, how's it going? Uh, do you happen to know a Charles or a Brian? Yeah, actually, how'd you know? 
I uh, met him last night. I offered him to come up for a late night dinner. We uh, talked a little bit and got to know each other. Hmm. Oh, it's like you and me. Well, they're welcome to my dear. Yeah, are they, uh, they doing OK? As far as I know. Why? Uh, I seen them go in the woods, and it seemed like they were getting attacked. I, I don't know about what or who. I... The name's William. Um, I live nearby, and uh, it's, I go on these walks to kind of clear my mind. Um, but I ran over to see what's going on, and as soon as it started, it seemed to end. I, they left out seemingly okay, but maybe they was joking around or just words, you know? Actually, now that you mention it, they uh, acted a little different lately, but they didn't mention any attack. No, probably it's nothing, like I said. Just horsing around. It, it, I don't mean to bother you with this, especially something so silly, but just, you know. What's your name? Edward. Edward. Yes. yes. Great, great, nice great. To nice to meet you too. Hey, if uh, you mean anything, just let me know. And uh, I'll definitely keep an eye on them. Please do. Please yeah. do. All right. Take care. All right, be safe. Yes, miss. Uh, I just had some reports of some suspicious looking people in the area. I was wondering maybe, maybe you heard something. No, um, I actually, I haven't gone out today at all. <laughs> Mind if I come in? Uh, see, I left my cell phone at the station and if I could, I, I really need to make an important phone call. Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you. So, uh, where are your friends? Um, I, I, I don't know, actually, but Edward, he went to town. And when was the last time you seen him? Yesterday. I went to bed early last night. But we're leaving in the afternoon, so they should all be back here pretty soon. Oh, yeah? And you said Edward, uh, he went to town? Yeah, yeah, he went to one of the shops. He likes to collect shop glasses, which is kind of ironic because he doesn't drink. Yeah, he like has one from everywhere. Is that right? That Edward, he seems like a real nice boy. It'd be a shame if something happened to him. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just, well, when I was his age, my wife and I, we lost our first child. So she couldn't breathe on her own. At that point in my life, I was going through a real tough time, you know? But it taught me a valuable lesson. You see, the families, they meant everything to me. At that time, I was going through a career change and dad got sick. You know, nothing really was turning out the way I planned it. You know what, though? In the end, we wound up having five beautiful, healthy children. I always wanted a big family. Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your daughter, but what does that have to do with Edward? Oh, uh, nothing, it's just, if you never got experience that, that'd, that'd be a shame, you know. He does remind me of myself a little bit, you know, when I was his age. Well, I... I hope you catch those suspicious looking people. I, I think Edward, you should be back here like any moment. Did you still want to use my phone? Yes, please. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just stalling. See, I, I really don't want to make this phone call. I got to report five missing people. I think they went into the woods.
Guys, I'm back. Anybody here? Karen? Guys? Anybody here? Charles? Guys? Guys, Is anybody here? Huh. That's weird. Hey guys, it's not high. Funny. Hey guys, I'm over here. What are you doing? We're going into the woods. Why are we supposed to keep out of the woods? That's what the ranger said. It's not dangerous. Come over here. Maybe I mean, I, I need to get my, my things out of the cabin, my bag. No, you don't. You, you don't need anything. I'd feel safer if I had water, Supplies, you know, I just... Come over here! You said that already. Why don't y'all come back to the cabin with me? No. You guys are acting very weird. Is everything okay? much at stake. Hey, I think he went this way. Let's go. Mr. Walker, Major Walker, sir. Mr. Walker. Yeah, boy? <laughs> What's the problem? It's my friend, sir. He's, something's wrong with him. He's trying to attack me. Yeah, I know. What do you mean, you know? So simple. Stay out of the woods. I don't say it because I think it's fun. What are you talking about? What did you do to my, what did you do to my friends? Don't go blaming me for your friend's curiosity. Which, by the way, those ain't your friends no more. What? What do you mean? You wanna know the truth about Silverwoods? Why I warned you to stay out? You wanna know what really happened to your friends? Yes, I do. When you go in those woods, Something else comes out in your place. Well, you mean you knew about this? Silver Woods is a prison. You get trapped 
while something else gets in your body and becomes free. My family has been trapped in there for nearly 50 years. I remember like it was yesterday. See, we, we was on vacation. My boy wanted to go on a hike. Silver was just having to catch my attention on the map. No more than a minute after we started on that damn trail, we was attacked. It all happened so fast. I didn't know what to think. Next thing I knew, I was lying on my back looking up and staring back at me. It was my own body. I thought it was a dream, but it wasn't. It's like sharing a chair. And then you get pushed off. My body wasn't mine. That is bullshit. You don't expect me to believe this, do you? I wouldn't have believed it myself if I didn't see it. What my boy means is, see, we had a lot of time to think about things, you know, after they happened. See, our bodies got up. They, they walked right out of the woods and I tried to chase after him. I, I tried to give a chase to him, but there was like a, like a barrier keeping us inside. I, I don't know why it's like this. It, it just is. People who took our bodies explained to us it's like a portal to hell. Seven demons escaped before the portal closed. In between this barrier. No way in, no way back to the place they came from. A long time passed before anyone came along. One by one, those demons picked off travelers as they came on walking by. You know, I was the first one out. Park Ranger drove up one day. I, I just knew that was my chance. He walked in real slow on the count. He was carrying his bag of equipment. It was too easy to take him down. I just wanted out so bad. You know, I just wanted, just wanted my family to, finally be free. You know, at one point in my life, I, I never thought I could do that to another person. Not, not even a stranger. But in time, any man become a demon, you give him a good enough reason. I mean, after all, dad just wants the best for us. A good, long life. After that, I just stand to be the ranger. I mean, it wasn't like I could just go tell the police, right? I mean, shit was too big. No, I just decided the best thing we'd do was just wait for folks to come through, try to lure them into them woods one by one so I could finally get my family free. That's when this guy showed up. You know, he really was a writer. Come on vacation, from out of town. We started talking. It didn't take long for me to convince me to go in them woods. My son Max, he took him over. But then, ran in some trouble. No one really noticed when my uh, dad took over the ranger. But uh, him, when he didn't come back that weekend, his family got a little worried. Start looking for him. You know. At first I thought, this could be good. If I can get him to go in the woods, then my family would be free. You know, nobody was interested. You see, William was originally staying on the other side of town. So despite all my claims that I seen him by the woods, nobody, not even a damn search party, thought that's where he'd be. Then we started to panic. We figured, maybe if I just pop up out of nowhere, I can tell people I just lost track of time, you know, with my novel. <laughs> then maybe then that they'll just all calm down. I mean, we wanted the attention, just not too much where people started to find out the secret. We just want our family out. So what we decided to do was we decided we just wait till a big enough group came through. See if we can get five people 
in them woods, then it'll all be okay. You see, my family could take over their bodies and, well, they wouldn't be gone long enough for anybody to miss them. As cold as it sounds, I truly do not care what happens when my family gets out. Shit. Sure. Some will go looking for you. By that time, we'll be in your bodies. Far, far away. You can't be serious. You'd be destroying people's lives. For my family. So my family can live. Because that's all that matters. What about my friends' families? My family. Their lives matter. I know. I know. This is going to happen, whether you like it or not. I didn't go in those woods. My friends did. <laughs> and you okay? Just screwing them over? And they didn't listen to me. And I warned you not to go in them damn woods. I'm not going in those woods. I'm not going in there. You don't have a choice. There's too many of us and only one of you. be here somewhere. Hey, what was that? I heard the door. Get some rope. We need a time off so you can't run again. There, get get that chair. Sit him in that chair.
Give me that chair, boy. Come on. Eddie, I'm so sorry. I don't want to have to do this. But we all got to do things we don't want to do. Give your hand now. So sorry, boy. Do this. Now. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, huh? I just run the back. Get this. Time up. You time up, skin run again, alright? Do this. Do this. Do this. Listen, listen to me one. Listen, look at me. Look at me, alright? Look at look at me. How my fingers are holding up. Good. Now I know you can see straight. You need to look at me. You don't have to do this, man. You don't have to do this. It's man. over. You don't have to do this. Shh. It's over. Stop trying to run. Stop being afraid. I'm not doing anything. Now I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Shoot. Thing is, I've been waiting to tell someone thank you. <laughs> For just as long. So thank you for giving my family a second chance at life. Now, boy, I wish you the best. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Thank you.